Mexico's finance minister admits Mexico is in crisis. His words, Tyler, crisis. In fact, he specifically traveled to New York this week to meet with investors and to talk to CNBC to try and ease concerns about what is happening there. To bring you up to date, Mexico has been rocked by protests, often violent for the last several months, over the disappearance of 43 students allegedly at the hands of drug gangs, working in collusion with the mayor of a small southern town. Add to the discontent and also investor concern the revelation that a new mansion in Mexico City was built for the First Lady by a company with many government contracts. And by the way, that company financed it for her, too. Before marrying the president, she was a famous Mexican soap opera star and had lots of money to pay for the house. But the situation certainly raised questions about conflict of interest. I started by asking Mexico's finance minister, Dr. Luis Vidagare, this question, putting him on the spot on this very big issue. The president was here at the U.N. meetings. He was with President Obama talking about greater transparency, less corruption. And then the discovery that the first lady has a house that was built by a contractor that also has federal contracts that uh, actually financed the deal as well. To U.S. investors, that looked like a terrible conflict of interest. Well, first of all, uh, the president has come forward and the first lady uh, has come forward and explained uh, and explain the, the, the acquisition and, and the resources used for that. But more important is that we are setting up as a country an independent authority, independent from the, from the president, to deal with, anti, with corruption cases. And uh, uh, this needs to be go through Congress, and it's exactly happening these days. And I'm sure that when we have an independent anti-corruption authority, this will be one of the cases that will be addressed immediately. It has to be. If Barbara Bush had had a house built by Halliburton, George W. Bush would have been impeached. Right. I mean, that's the American context we bring to this situation. Are, are American investors making too much of that? Um, I, I think American investors that are very concerned about the, the price of oil, are concerned about uh, what's going on in the emerging markets as well. But this is a concern as well. And it's a concern of the, the disappearance of 43 students uh, with uh, municipal police involved. Um, I, I think this is a time, as I said, it's a difficult time for Mexico. And we need to be clear, very clear about what we're doing in terms of economic policy, in terms of the anti-corruption and, the, 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 and, police, and, and police reform. This might turn out to be an opportunity to have better practices as a whole as a country. He also, also emphasized over and over again that they're committing to lots of key macroeconomic policies as well that investors here were asking for. He is an MIT PhD, Tyler, one of the many MIT PhDs that are very pervasive in international finance policy making all over the world.